My mom was 67 when we started to notice, to notice that things were changing. Uh, she would lose the ability to do something. Like she was always really good with her hands. And so buying a library at Ikea and mounting it was a piece of cake. And at one point she, she went and do, do that for, for my brother who lives in Toronto. And she came back and she said, oh my, it was difficult. And so that for me was not normal. And then she became reckless when she was driving. And then uh, uh, one day she was no longer able to peel a carrot. And, and another day uh, she was no longer able to drive. That was a tough one. We just realized a week ago that this has become dangerous glass, you know, because we cut my mom on her knees on this table. So this is going to go and be replaced by something a lot more solid. So what does it change for, for the family? Everything. Some bars, um, some salt, make sure first of all, there's uh, this knot that, uh, that, that gets in your stomach. Uh, that is very painful and that just never goes away. That's you no longer have peace of mind. Because at first you're worried about the well-being of, of your loved one. In my case, it's my mom. Um, because she's very sad and, and mad at everything that's happening to her. And she's... My mom doesn't have Alzheimer's, she has another type of dementia and she's really aware of her every diminished capacities. And so her suffering makes you suffer <laughs> um, tremendously and it's, it's very tragic actually. Uh, sitting down is difficult so we try to put things in place. Uh, we had to adapt the shower as well. Because my mom was the one doing everything in the house, from cooking, from cleaning, from washing the windows, everything, paying the bills, uh, slowly but surely, she stops doing those things. So uh, I had to, to make sure that both my parents would have something to eat, yet I'm working too, I don't have time to cook, so now everything changes. My parents are here only a couple of days a week, so their home up north is uh, a bit more organized, like there's a barrier at the bottom of the stairs and on the top so that she doesn't go up and down on her own. My parents worked so hard all their life, really the hardworking people, and they were just about to start a happy retirement in a few years, and this is just down the drain. So we just have to uh, enjoy the present and live every day as if it was our last. And I know that we say that just like that, but it's so true. It's so true, you have to enjoy life when, when you're still healthy and able to, uh, to enjoy it.